can remember to it. Okay. And um, what I do, some people like get too stressed out about the formalities of getting people in their rooms. Once you have people like logged in, they're using their camera, everything's great. The logistics that happens after that are pretty simple. You just need to get them in their rooms. So I just assign the candidates and the faculty to the room at the same time. You can do it however you want um, and whatever. This overflow room here, you're going to use that for like when there's like tweaking and stuff going on. You're not going to really use that as like an, a real room and you're going to see why. OK, so now I'll say the thing. You have any questions? Blah, blah, blah. No. OK, OK, I'm going to open all rooms now and then I'll say open rooms. And as you can see, things will happen. And then I will say so you should have a message in the middle of your screen that says to join the breakout room. Please click accept. If you do not see it in the middle of your screen, please hover down and in the, your bottom menu where it says breakout rooms, there should be a message there and you can join from that way. I don't know the rhyme or reason of wh why people see it in the different ways, but um, but that's just how it is. And then everybody like, OK, and then they'll click the little thing and you'll start to see people disappear and go. Boop, 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 boop. And then you're like, oh, it's working. This is great. And then you'll have the stragglers and the stragglers are either people that didn't click it quick enough or they're not seeing their message for some reason. So after I see that mostly everybody's gone, it's been a few seconds where that like these people are still hanging out there. I'll say, um, um, uh, Dr. Jones, did you get the message? And then they'll tell you yes or no or whatever. So if that's if they're like, no, I never got the message. I'm like, you hovered down there. No, didn't get the message. So then you can see that up here that they are. Um, they're grayed out and that means that you assign them to that room, but for whatever reason they aren't able to join it. This glitch will happen um, mostly with the faculty, but um, but it, it could happen. So if you have that situation happen, what you're going to do is you're going to hover over their name. You're going to say move to overflow and they're going to get a message, but tell them don't respond to that message yet and then move them back over to the room they're supposed to be in and then they'll get the message again and then they click on it and everything's beautiful and fine. So let's do that. Okay, so there goes our candidate. <laughs> I do not know why. It's taking so long. There we go. They're gone now. Oh, the other thing is your views that you have here. Um, well, you gotta do it while they're still in the room. So you can see that there's nobody in your participant list. That's because even though they all went off into breakout rooms, they're not in the, your current room. So that's how you know everything's working well. So now you also you can see in all your rooms that are open and this arrow here will like expand or whatever the rooms. So you can see uh, Jones here now has a green next to their name. So that means they made it in that breakout room. OK. So. We can we're going to close this window. Don't worry. You can always open it back up. It's on chest. Um, so what we're going to do is we want to. While people are in their breakout rooms, they can ask for help. From the host and they do by they have some option down here that says ask for help. And what will happen is you'll get a message that says, right here, C. Jones is asking um, for help. So then you can say, okay, if you're ready to go, um, you say, you're in a breakout room, and I'm gonna join the breakout room. And I'll be like, hi, are you okay? Everything all right? Blah, 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 fix them, make them feel better. All that sort of thing. Now everything is fine. Everything's working, whatever. I want to go back to the main room and this is what the, the people are going to see when they need to go back to your room so you know what it looks like. They're going to click on this little blue icon down here. It says leave room 
And for people that are not the host, they're not going to see this, but they're going to see leave meeting and leave breakout room. They want to click this to return to that main room. If they click leave meeting, it will take them completely out. But it's okay. They can log back in. We can get them going again. It's not, a, it's not the end of the world. So we're going to say leave breakout room. And now I am back in the main breakout room. So they're having their interviews, blah, blah, blah. Um, you're going to ask about timers and things like that. Within Zoom, there isn't really timers unless you use that one, um, the one piece. So, um, so what I do is I use my iPhone here. And I, I even did this when we had on-site interviews. So uh, don't even um, this is not something new for me, but I set up just iPhone timers for the whole day. So I'll go through and like, okay, when do I have to do my five minutes? When is it time to train to like switch rooms? And then when is it time for the rooms to start back up? I don't do alarms for all three of those because it's like 15 minutes in, five minutes after that, and five minutes after that. So that's like a lot of beeping. So I do 15 minutes in because that's where I like lose track. And then, and then I usually like, I don't do another alarm for five minutes in because I'm pretty hyper aware that like within five minutes, I got to say, okay, it's time to switch rooms. And if I go slightly over, it's okay because we have this transition time in there. And then, um, and then I think I do an alarm for the second five minutes, just because I get to chit chatting with the people. And when I get to chit chatting, I lose track of time. <laughs> so now it's time. And my beeper went off for like the five the five minutes before it's supposed to end mark. You may be two minutes or whatever, but for me, I do five minutes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this thing down here that says broadcast message to all. And I'm going to say, say um, we have five minutes before we switch. Now, in these messages, make them as clear as possible. Leave no room for interpretation because you can't really communicate with the people. The only way you can communicate is by sending them messages, but you can't get anything back from them within Zoom. So they may text you and be confused. So remember, be as clear as possible. Don't say five minutes because that's not a clear message. So I clearly say you have five minutes before we switch. You can even say, please finish your conversations. And then I'll broadcast it. You can't see the broadcast message because we're under the host, but it's actually a little window that pops up here for anybody that is not the host. Okay. Um, I would like to tell you what color it is, but on Saturday when we were doing practices, the color was blue, and then yesterday when we did practices, the color was green. So, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so now it's been five minutes, it's time to switch. Now I say broadcast message to all. It is time to switch. Candidates return to the main room. Faculty and trainees, or whatever you use, uh, stay in your rooms. I say this message every single time it's time to switch. Exactly like this, it makes it clear it is time to switch, but what must you do? You can say it's time to switch, but there's a lot there's a lot of balls going on here for everybody. So be clear and you know, you want to tell this is what you expect. You expect the candidates to return in the main room and you expect the faculty to stay. So that means like in like a few seconds, you expect to see if you have six candidates that day, you expect to see six faces and plus your own on the screen. And you don't want to see any of the faculty. <laughs> so you got to make sure you write in there what you expect to see. And then I'm going to broadcast it. And then they'll, um, they'll slowly start coming back to the rooms. So we are going to, Candidate Jones is going to return back to the room. And there is Candidate Jones. Now, um, my participant list went away. There we go. So now you can see that Candidate Jones is back. Welcome back, Candidate Jones. All right. And so then we're going to put, you can see on the breakout room screen, it's now grayed out because they were just in that room and the next room then, that they return back to is here. So now instead of saying um, a sign, it looks a little differently now. So now you can say, you see, oh no, where's the assigned? How do I get the people in the room? You just ho hover over their name and you're gonna say, you're gonna move them to the next room. Let's pretend it's Patel. And then they are going to get a message right away that says, 
Do you want to join Patel? And it's going to say join. And then there they go. Now, I don't know why right now it's not letting me do. Um, you can do like how the way that you have everybody viewed on the screen here. I usually keep it in grid format, you know, the Brady Bunch format. Um, and um, that way I can keep track of everyone a little easier instead of um, that list across the top. But I don't know why it's not letting me do this on here. It might be because I'm on the web. So, okay. So then, blah, blah, they do their interviews. And let's just pretend they've kind of just gone through everything. And, um, and now we say later. <laughs> so you want to say your goodbyes. So at that point, you've broadcasted a message that says something like, um, interviews have now concluded. Everyone, please return to the main room. All right, and you give them like a minute or two to finish their last conversations and things like that. And if it's been five minutes and everybody still hasn't come back yet, and five minutes is a really long time in this situation because you're kind of all just staring at each other a little bit, you don't want to say too much of the message unless everybody is back there. Um, the, the topic about having all the faculty and residents and stuff there and fellows at the beginning, um, too early or whatever, or at this point when they're everybody's getting ready to leave, I actually think it's a good thing because it shows the candidates that you have a real team effort going on and everybody's all hands on deck to care about them while they're there. So I know schedules can be difficult, but in my opinion on interview days, things should be blocked in a way that people can attend. There's always last minute cases and things like that, I understand, but, but, um, but you need to show that your candidates that you're gonna care about them while they come and train with you. So this is a good opportunity for everyone to be like, thanks, thanks for coming, blah, 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 whatever. So then, um, so then if you still, it's like been a few minutes, you've chit chatted as much as you can, um, your <coughs> program director or who, whatever representative um, is like, is like, is everybody back, Chris? And then you could say, no, they're not, because you can see that they're not. And then you'll be like, you know what? We're just going to close the rooms. And so now I have, no idea why that says so long. So, um, I thought I said 30 seconds, so I don't know why it's saying negative 3,000 seconds. It's a little scary. So, <laughs> shove our candidate out, and as you can see, it's great out there. And now we have everybody back in the room. And then you could say, okay, everybody's back. And the program director or whatever representative is going to say their their goodbyes, like like you would in person, and say like thank you for coming, last minute things, last minute questions, NRMP rules, blah 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 blah, all that sort of thing. And then I end it, and they'll say, Chris, do you have anything you want to add? And um, and I in in my experience, every single training program I have ever been part of, even the ones that I have not always appreciated my role, <laughs> um, have always said Chris do you have anything else you want to add so if they don't just say oh excuse me I just want to say something and then I just tell the people you know okay just so you know on your right this is the way I do my formatting you may have some other way of like any follow-up questions they may have what, however your program decides that it wants to handle that for me I give them I go ahead and give them all the can all the the faculty's email addresses and then the trainees email addresses so that they can talk to them directly um, you may do it slightly differently. To me, what happens in every single interview anyways, even when they're in person, is the, the faculty will give them their card if you have questions. So if I do it this way, then um, the faculty doesn't have to worry about doing that piece of it. And also it doesn't give them too much information, like their phone numbers and things like that. It's just it's giving them their email address. So that's why I do it that way. It's all up to you how you wanna do it. You can close this down now and you, and then then after everybody said their, their um, their goodbyes and last minute things, no questions, blah, 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 blah. And be like, okay, well, thank you very much. Um, the candidates, you can leave now. And then the candidates will slowly trickle out. Now, we're gonna change this person. Now is the ranking piece. So like, in my experience, no matter what method that you're gonna use for your um, for your interviews and things like that, you wanna do like a recap of every, like everybody who interviewed the person's opinions on how it went. 
you know, like what the candidate was like, blah, blah. And so that's this time frame now. So if you have a smaller program, you may not need to do things like collect scores and stuff like that. 